Good morning, everybody. And uh, I'll be essentially talking about implementing version control in Amazon DynamoDB. I stumbled upon last night very amazing article written by these authors, and I'll be summarizing those in this video. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to talk about is what is version control, right? Database version control is a practice of tracking every change made into the database by every team member. Like application version control, database version control acts as a single source of truth. It empowers you with a complete visibility, traceability, and continuous monitoring of the changes in your databases. The benefits are greater visibility, better collaboration. Visibility because you know every single change and who made those changes, right? And you can also get the basically all the different versions of a particular data or a, a, right database rollback compliance management these are some of the um, you know reasons uh, why you want to uh, implement versions i have made a lot of videos on modeling such as uh, sql to nosql linkedin post likes comments we did model single table design in dynamo db we also model ticketing systems such as clickup jira right we essentially understood how we can achieve that and a small example of watch list uh, all of these were some data modeling exercises that I have posted on my channel. So let's understand versions, right? Some application requires you to record changes of the data over the time. And you can identify these changes with a timestamp or a number so that the specific version can be retrieved later. Furthermore, you should be able to easily retrieve the most recent version and the application design in order to maintain the data integrity as the version increases. Uh, the author says there are two type of version that is time based and number based version right now Let's discuss what time based version is now here. The author gives a very nice example consider you are trying to mo um, Model a factory that has many parts and each part uh, sends the st state of the each part will send the state every two minutes right and you are essentially asked to record the historical um, state of each part in the database here, uh, author shows a very beautiful example, right? So I'll take, try to take my pen. Uh, let me just take my pen. So here, what we are saying is basically an equipment, right? If you observe carefully an equipment, right? Equipment has several state, right? And the way author is modeling the different version or different state here is through a timestamp, right? Uh, and at the end, we have the metadata. The metadata holds the information about the equipment, such as equipment name, factory ID, line ID, etc., right? So if you do observe carefully, now if I want to retrieve the latest copy of the data, right? Uh, what um, I'll do is uh, author again shows a, a code example as well. For example, here the author first inserts the data into DynamoDB, right? And then what author does is basically, uh, if you observe here, uh, the author specifically says scan index forward is equal to false. Now, what does that do? I'll try to explain. As soon as you do that, right? Uh, this is how your DynamoDB is, right? It will go from top to bottom, right? As soon as you say scan index um, forward as false, now the order is reversed. So the metadata will come appear on the top list, right? And then um, the next item would be your latest version. So consider this as uh, this particular item. If you do uh, scan forward as false, so now you will have a metadata here, right? And then of course, uh, it will be reversed, right? So the latest timestamp will appear here, right? Whatever that is, right? So hopefully you do get the idea, right? So now you do have all the versions of particular state, right? Of the part, right? And you can easily retrieve uh, the latest version uh, if needed. Please come and read more on the slides if needed, uh, right? Now the second approach here is the number based version. And again, as the name suggests, we are taking the same example, but now you are using uh, um, number numbers essentially to version our data. Now, how does that work is basically if you observe carefully, we still have the metadata where we have the equipment name, factory, line ID, and then we have all the particular versions of, um, of, of the equipment. And we are essentially now modeling that through version V0, V1, V2. How that works in code, I'll show you shortly. The author has given an example. So what author does before we just go in. So let's say you want to insert an equipment. So first you will check whether you have something on V0 or not. If you don't have, you will insert it as a default as V0. If you do have an item at V0, you will update the current item, right? And then you will insert the new item by incrementing the counter to V1. So V0 will always hold the new copy. Hopefully that made sense. If I was too fast, I'll just repeat that again. 
what happens is anytime you want to insert an item and maybe this should make sense now anytime i want to insert an item right so here you can see i'm inserting an item right so what we are doing here is you will first check if an item exists at v0 if the item does exist at v0 you will update update the item at v0 and then insert the new item at increment the counter by v1 so take the previous one and increment it by one so here the author shows a small example as well the third approach which is uh, like commonly uh, def uh, de defined by author uh, uh, Ch charuka uh, says that you can also do that through two separate tables here the concept applies that you will be using two dynamo db tables the first table will be your current version and all your history of that particular uh, item would be in a uh, history table right so this is also a common approach a uh, takeaway points are the main drawback of a separate table approach is to is is the unorganized way of versioning on the other hand it's straightforward approach uh, to version your data uh, in the scenario where where the version do not change rapidly i suggest to use a number based approach and in scenario where the version change rapidly use a timestamp based approach uh, i hope these videos are useful and both the article links and um, the references uh, given on the slide so please do check that out I'm quickly sharing my um, screen again. All right, so I did hope you guys did enjoy these uh, contents. And if you did find value on this content, do make sure to share this video and like. I'll leave the slides that I have made for my personal use uh, in the description. So if needed, pl please do check the official source uh, that the author has written. Thank you so much. And I hope you did find value on the content. And I'll see you guys in the upcoming next uh, video.